In Germany, this beer is apparently your daily treat. And today we have a bottle of the Weltenberger Cloister Baroque Hell coming in at 5.6% ABV. And again, I would like to thank our number one German subscriber, Stefan Breen, for sending me this beer in. You know, um, I just lost the words with you, Stefan. You know, these beers you keep sending, every beer you've sent me is a cracker and a lot of them are beers that I could never get hold of you you can't get in the UK um, yeah even in Germany he sort of he's pointing me in a few directions where to visit in Germany pick up some of these beers because when I'm in Germany I go to like some bottle shops and when I'm in the towns mostly in the cities I go to a few bottle shops and that and pick up a few beers but he's giving me some little places that are like out of the cities um, these big sort of um, trinking places, he calls them, um, where you go have like 600 beers in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to die and go to heaven if I go in a place like that. And uh, yeah, it's very, very interesting. So, yeah, thank you very much, Stefan. And um, yeah, the, the, the Weltenberger Cloister. Cloister is monastery in, in German. They still dispute that they are the oldest brewery in the world but unfortunately it's it, it's it's via Stefana um, yeah if you do your research on on the Weltenberg Abbey yeah they're, they're, they're about a few years out really so nice try but apparently this this Weltenberger Abbey is a real cracking place to visit. It's right on a sharp bend in a river, and it, it's literally the, it, it literally stands on the banks of this river, and it's right on a real tight, sharp bend. And it's something which it, I'll, 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 I'll try to make a pilgrimage to this place sometime. Uh, and it's actually on the Danube, believe it or not, the famous Danube River. So um, I don't know how far it is away from. Ulm, because I've been to Ulm, um, um, and that's on the Danube, so I'll have to check out on the map where it is in relation to Ulm, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'll quite, um, looks like I'd like to go to this place, it just looks at some pictures I see of the Abbey on the river, on this great big sweeping bend of, the, of a river, it, it looks fantastic, so anyway, let's crack this open, um, I'm going to take the top off carefully, because one of my subscribers, Barry, I promised him a load of my, he wants to collect a load of these tops, so there are Barry, that's another one for your collection. A rare one again, so let's get it in a glass. Tell you what, don't that look great? Well, obviously, because it's a hell's, it's a lovely golden colour. There's plenty of carbonation in there. And remember, this is not a nucleated glass at all. It's got a lovely two finger, um, sort of, it's a, it's a tightish foam head on there. Yeah, looks, it looks fantastic. Let's get the aroma. Now, <sighs> it smells earthy, with a subtle leafy hot sort of background to it. It's not it's not like any malts coming at you in your face, there's not any hops that are really coming at you in your face, and there's no sort of this grassy, peppery aroma to it. 
really has a clean aroma to this beer. So let's dive in and give it a try. Prost Stefan. Interesting. Very, very dry. Very, very easy on the palate. It's a slight spiciness there. Um, towards the back end but nothing uh, this is a very subtle beer if you want a beer that's like a hell's that full on flavour full on hoppy strong grassy notes strong peppery taste well this is not the hell's for you This is like a, a tamed down version. This, and I can see why they now say that, you know, this is the beer for your daily treat. You know, this is what um, the Welton Burger <laughs> actually call this beer, your daily treat. And I can see why. This is a good, solid, day-to-day -day beer. This would be a good beer to go out of an evening and have a session on. You know, 5.6%, yeah, I'm calling this a sessionable hells. It don't feel like 5.6% at all. Um, but it's such easy drinking. It's so subtle. This is a drink that you could just sit at a bar and just keep drinking, drinking, drinking. All day session. This is a, this is a beer for an all day session. You could have an all dayer on this. Oh, it's, it's just, and wouldn't even know you you're knocking back 5.6% beer. It really hides the, the, the alcohol volume very, very well. Yeah, it is just... <sighs> On a really hot day in Bavaria, and I don't know if you've ever been to Bavaria, right? Sometimes you can get go to Bavaria and it'll be over, well over 30 degrees in the summer. You know, a really stonking hot day. And a beer like this, you know, to sit there outside in a beer garden and to drink this would just, you just smash it, it'd just be, you'd be smashing them back. It really would on a real hot day. And yeah, fantastic. Now, to believe it or not, right, there is three hops in this beer. You've got the Pearl, you've got the traditional Munich hops, and you've got the, the, the Hercules hops. So, you know, this is brewed with love. You know, three hops in a Hells. You know, there's not many Hells that will have that amount of hops in. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, but, oh, it's good. It's it's up there with some of the top hells. It definitely is. But some of you might find this too bland, and I'm going to warn you. Um, I could see people trying this and saying, ah, "It's too watery. It's too bland. Um, it hasn't got that that smell to it." Um, and I think that's a good thing. It it throws something different into the mix, if you know what I mean. Um, sometimes you can get a style, and every everyone is very very similar, you know. And this is t a totally different hells, and I don't find it watery. And believe you me, if I did, I'd be slating it. But I can see some people 
finding it watery compared to another hell's. You know, if you was to have uh, yeah, yeah, idle stuff by you know uh, by a uh, by Augustina Brow or I'm trying to think similar. Something from Eyinger. You're gonna sort of say, "Oh, there's no comparison. They're, they're miles better." Well, you got to you got to look beyond that, and that's what I try to do. I look beyond that as a beer reviewer, and look at a scenario. When I review these beers, some of these beers, I think of of a scenario where I would be happy drinking that beer. And I would be the happiest drinking that beer on a, on this beer here on a real hot summer's day in Bavaria. I could I could quite easily sit there, watch the world go by, and, and smash four or five of these back, no problem. You know, in an afternoon, no problem whatsoever. Um, it's it's that good. It's 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 really really light. It's subtle, <coughs> and it's refreshing. It ticks three boxes for me. Now. To have with a meal, to go out of an evening and drink, um, I don't think so. I don't think I'd like to drink this in an evening or with a meal. Um, to me, it's a light, refreshing drink to have sort of midday lunch through the day, through the day, and that's what they're really sort of it's probably implicating in their motto, you know, this beer. Is for your daily tr your daily treat, you know, um, which I think this is what they're trying to market it as, as as a you know get down the pub at lunchtime or just as you finish work and have a have a have a, have a glass of this. So yeah, it ticks all the boxes in that department. It don't tick the boxes as something to have with your evening meal and a, of a of an evening, in my opinion. So look, if you can get hold of a bottle of this, get hold of a bottle. Try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel because without you subscribers, the channel's nothing. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>